Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a super fun video. I've never done anything like this before. And when my friend Christina Brooke reached out to me here on YouTube wanting to know if I wanted to collaborate with her, I jumped at the chance because I've never done this before and it was super duper fun. This is a makeup raffle video. The raffle is going to pick my makeup, whether it's going to be drugstore or high end. So I have a bunch of drugstore and high end little things in here and I just swish it around and each section I pick for my primer I pick for my foundation I pick my concealer and so right now I have a mixture of drugstore and high-end on my face if you guys have never heard of Christina Brooke she is such an amazing creator here on YouTube she actually has a series called make up your mind and what she does is she takes a new palette that's getting ready to be launched and before it's launched she swatches all of her palettes to see if she already has the palette in her collection which is really interesting she takes the swatches that are online and goes through her entire collection to see if she has it and she does a great job you guys she's very thorough very knowledgeable very kind so she does more fashion and makeup which is incredible she has an amazing instagram so excited to share her with you guys she and i've collaborated once before and i just love christina brooks she's fantastic you guys so definitely check out her video and i am excited about this i've never had I've never done anything like this before. And I wanna say full disclosure, I'm in, you guys can probably tell I'm really hyper. So I have a really bad headache, okay? And I've had one for like two weeks off and on, okay? And I may or may not be high on Excedrin. I am like, Grrr! so I'll probably drive you crazy. I very, I'm apologizing in advance because I wanna slap the shit out of myself as it is. I apologize in advance for my ridiculously obnoxious personality through this video. I'm definitely high on Excedrin. I'm just like, Grrr. you know how that is. I only take Excedrin when I'm desperate and I was desperate and then I became a hyper crazy person. So I love you. And if you put up with me through this whole video, then you guys rock. That's all I got to say because I am dorky AF in this video. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a full face of a mixture of drugstore and high end and the raffle is going to pick which one I choose. So thank you again, Christina Brooke, for inviting me to collaborate with you. I love you to pieces and let's go ahead and jump straight into this fun makeup tutorial. Okay, so let's start playing with makeup and do this fun raffle challenge. I've never done anything like this before, so I'm kind of excited about it. Now, full disclosure, if you guys hear any craziness going on in the background, my husband and his two employees are building a deck. It's We're building just kind of a small little deck off the back of our yard. We're trying to just find ways to keep our guys working, you know what I mean? And... You know, they finished up the house they were doing and my husband's like, I gotta produce something for my workers. So that's what they're doing. So and they're right outside. So if you can hear their music or you can hear their pounding, I apologize in advance. Okay, so when Christina approached me about this, I was like, wait, what? What am I supposed to be doing? I was a little bit confused, but actually it sounds super duper fun and I'm kind of excited about doing it, especially now that I've started to get more and more into drugstore and actually really, really enjoying drugstore products. So I have my little bowl right here, okay? And I have all like different papers that say, I think I have like five drugstore and five high end. You probably won't be able to read my handwriting because I was doing it really, really quick. And I was using my eyelash uh, scissors to cut them because I had forgotten scissors. <laughs> the story of my life, I swear to hell. Okay, so we're gonna first start with primer. Obviously, we're gonna see which one I pick, either a high-end or a drugstore. So, not gonna look, not gonna look, not gonna look. Okay, I don't know what this is, let's look. Drugstore, so I have a drugstore primer. All right, so I'm gonna fold that back up and like stick it back in there. So you guys have heard me talk about that L'Oreal um, Pro Glow, the infallible, that one's really good for, you know, more of a glowing. I've also talked about the Honest Beauty. I really like that primer, but I found this one and I haven't actually used this. This is a sample I think that come with like a Milani package, but this is the Prime Perfection Face Primer. So I thought I would pull this out and give it a try. See how I like the texture and stuff? I've never used it. And by the way, I'm in a super comfy, super comfy t-shirt because I was not really in the mood to get dressed up. 
<laughs> who is these days? Like, seriously. I'm like, I am going to be comfy and just get ready and have fun and, you know. All right. I don't like the smell of it. I think it's because I've been so spoiled with the Bobbi Brown. It's got, it's not a very strong scent, the Bobbi Brown isn't, but it's, oh, it's lovely. It's kind of a little bit of a citrus, but on a very small, small scale. Oh, it's so, so good. <laughs> so good. Um, this one dries down to a soft, silky finish. So I don't know, I don't feel that it's hydrating per se. I feel like it's more of a silk type. It's very silky. So we'll see. Kind of reminds me of the Hourglass, the Vell primer. You know which one I'm talking about? That's what it kind of reminds me of. All right, so let's move on to foundation. I'm curious. Okay, I'm not gonna look. Okay, let's see which one I picked. Drugstore again, oh my gosh, but this is not bad. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this foundation. You guys have heard me talk about this. I've said it a thousand times. I love this new foundation from L'Oreal. However, keep in mind that it, you know, the fifth ingredient is alcohol. So this has a higher alcohol content than some of the others, but this is the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I'm obsessed with it and I absolutely love the concealer that goes with this. Oh, it's so beautiful on the skin. So I'm kind of excited that I picked that one because I really like this foundation. I have a feeling, now full disclosure, this is my summer shade. So this is the shade Caramel Beige. This is definitely gonna be a summer shade. I ordered a lighter shade for me to wear right now, but this is definitely, I'm gonna be kind of dark, but that's okay. I'll, I'll make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and apply, oh yeah. Oh shit, this is way darker than I remembered. <laughs> I better start dragging this down the neck. Shit, this is dark. <laughs> this is dark, you guys. Oh, how, why, wow. Ugh. And right now, I'm like due to apply my fake tan, so I'm kind of really light right now. <laughs> I'm looking oompa loompa 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 in this. It's a good thing it blends out fast. Holy crap, this is so dark. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. It matches me like, oh shit. Oh shit. It matches me like the day or two after I first do my fake tan and then it's like oh, dark. <laughs> the problem is, is it's orange too, so I'm looking a little orange, but that's okay. I will make this work. You guys are looking at me like right now going, the glit she's nuts. She looks like a freaking moron. Oompa Loompa Orange Moron, but I promise you, I will make it work. Drag it down to my raggedy old fun t-shirt, which I did this t-shirt myself, if I could speak. So this t-shirt, I made all the holes in it, and then like I cut this, I made a little slit here, and then I ripped. Yeah, I distressed it myself because it's a really cute t-shirt, but I also like that distressed look, so. There you go. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm still like Oompa Loompa, that's okay. All right, <laughs> so I'm gone. Okay, oh shit, they're flying all over the place. Five minutes later. All right. Drugstore again! Oh my gosh, three drugstores in a row. So what does that mean? I'm going to pick the Age Smart Concealer in the drugstore category because I'm freaking obsessed with it. It's so, it's got like just a natural radiant, uh, finish to it and it just looks so pretty. This one is in the shade 240 Golden Honey. I think this is a good shade for me, uh, especially with this color of foundation. I might have to do it a little bit lighter once I get the other uh, shade in that foundation, but it is such a beautiful concealer. I love this. It's so good so natural and I would say it's a good medium coverage. I don't know that I would say it's a full coverage, but my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this concealer so much. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh. I mean, see how beautiful that concealer is? It's so natural, so pretty. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the thing that I also love about it is that you just can't see it. All day, I can't, all day, I can't see it sitting on my skin. It's just so pretty. We're gonna move on to brows. Okay, we're gonna grab, I'm not gonna look. Okay, here we go. What's this one? I got another drugstore, you guys. 
I am not lying. Look, drugstore, drugstore. Holy crap, that's so funny. I still love my It Cosmetics pencil. This um, brow powder or this brow power micro. My friend Ashley had an extra one and sent it to me, which was so nice of her. And even though I love the one from It Cosmetics, this one is really good from the drugstore. If you guys are on a budget, let me just tell you something. This e.l.f. pencil is bomb.com. I love it. This is the ultra precise brow pencil. So, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in these little brows. It's gonna take me a minute because my brows always take me a minute. Okay, so I have to admit, it's been a minute since I've used this I, uh, this pencil because I, m my friend Ashley stocked me up. She sent me an extra, uh, this at Cosmetics, so she sent this to me, which was really nice of her. So once she sent this to me, I stopped using this one. I still love this, but I love this pencil, you guys. I think what I love about this is it's the exact same color as my brows, and it's kind of a waxy formula, so you get a nice stroke but you can also blend it you guys in my opinion this is just as good as high-end just as good if not better I've tried a lot of high-end pencils and this one from elf I think it's better than a lot of them personally let's move on to contour we're gonna move on to contour so I'm gonna give it a good shake because for some reason I keep picking drugstore which is fine I don't care I think it's kind of cool but we need a little bit of a variety, you know? Okay, so. <laughs> I grab onto one and then I let it go. Okay. High end. Finally got a high end product. You guys know I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. You guys see me use that all the time though, don't you? I'm sorry. I don't, I only have the two that I really like. Put some here. I'm almost out of this. I've had this for about two years and I'm almost out of it. So I need to uh, order another one. I'm thinking about getting a darker shade. I love it though. Love it. Love this cream contour. It's fabulous. One of the best. And like I said, it's lasted me two years. Now I, I swap it back and forth between the um, contour sticks from KKW Beauty and then this one, but it is bomb. And I mean, for it to last that long, I definitely got my $38 worth for sure. Let's move on to bronzer. What am I going to get for bronzer? So I got another high end which is great. Get a little bit of variety here. High end bronzer. I'm going to use my hourglass. This is the Radiant Bronze Light um, in their ambient lighting bronzers. Love this bronzer. I think it's so beautiful. I know that this one from Hourglass is really stupidly expensive. It's like 50 bucks. Um, it lasts a long time, which is a good thing, but you know, they do have the mini sizes, which is what I bought first. Uh, so I bought the mini size in this first to make sure I liked it. And I used it for about a year and I loved it. So I ended up buying the larger one. Okay, so let's move on to blush. Let's see which one I pick for a blush. I look really glowy and fresh, don't I? I'm telling you guys, the foundation is freaking bomb. So pretty. I don't recommend it for combo and oily, but if you have dry normal skin and you like just a nice little dewy fresh look, let me tell you something. Where the hell did my brush go? Let me tell you something, it is stunning. I got shit flying everywhere. All right, here we go. Let's get another one here. All right, what did we get? Ooh, I got drugstore. Mm, 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 mm. I was really hoping I was gonna get the drugstore one for the blush because you guys know I've been living for my Honest Beauty blush because it's so damn pretty. It's the cream blush. So these two have been my favorite combination lately. I know, cause I'm obsessed with blush, but whatever. 
to each is their own, okay? Mind your business. But this is the Coral Peach. I freaking love this. You guys have heard me talk about it a thousand times. I'm gonna talk about it a thousand and one times. And then you've heard about me talk about this about 10,000 times. This is the Milani Luminoso. Oh, if you love a peach blush, this will bring you joy, pure joy. None of my blushes have this beautiful sheen to it that this one does. Dig gum, it's pretty, you guys. Okay, I'm excited. I was kind of hoping I would get a drugstore on that just so that I could use my Honest Beauty because my skin looks so refreshed right now. Like this cream blush is like right up my alley. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go in, grab a tiny bit. Don't grab very much about because it's kind of pigmented. So when I grab it, I go in on both cheeks and then start blending it out because it's pig. You can see it's pigmented, right? It's freaking beautiful. Love this. So I use this as the base. And yes, I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> I know it's wrong. I get weird on Excedrin, obviously. I'm going to tap it out just a little bit. Dang, doesn't that look like fresh and just yummy skin? Then I'm going to go over top of it with this bitch. And it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in like this. Tap off. And just go right over. I have a hair on my freaking face. Okay, now it looks crazy right now, but once I powder and buff all this in, it's going to look like a peach goddess. All right, let's move on to powder. Okay. Please be high-end. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, hallelujah. Merry Christmas to me. I'm going to use my hourglass. I know, not a shocker. All right, I'm gonna go right over top of this. Oh, I love this powder. Do oh, you see? You see that blush is so freaking pretty. As soon as you start buffing it and putting powder over top of it. Now we're gonna pick for setting spray. Let's see which one I pick. It's hard to just like grab one, you know what I mean? And I got Drugstore, which I'm gonna say Drugstore is the Morphe. I mean, the Morphe is $16, so that's kind of Drugstore pricing, right? I love this continuing setting mist, and I can't talk when the air is blowing in my face. Uh, what am I picking for now? Oh, highlighter. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm kind of dumb today. Okay, high end. All right, so this gives me an opportunity to use this new product that I have not used on camera. So my friend, Ashley Lamora, she and I just collaborated on a video recently. She sent me this big box of these goodies a couple weeks ago, and then she sent me another box. And in that box, she sent this. I cannot believe she sent, I'm like, you got to stop sending me stuff. She's so sweet, you guys. She also sent me the copper charge um, from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have the green one and the copper charge. I'll probably do a video with those two together. I don't know, we'll see, but this, is the new skin, this is the new all over skin enhancer from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the skin gloss. This one is in the shade Golden Dew. This is be, this would be the shade that I was going to choose anyway. Can't believe that she sent me one. I was so excited because I wanted to buy these, but I had other things that I needed to buy within my budget. You guys know I've been trying to budget with all this crazy coronavirus. So I wasn't gonna get these, but I really wanted it, and then she sent it to me, and I'm so, so grateful. Mm, thank you, Ashley. So I'm gonna apply this on camera so you guys can see how pretty this is. They're very, very beautiful. They really are very natural. Not, you know, they're a skin gloss, so they're not like a full highlighter, but they make the skin just look so yummy. I really love this shade for my skin tone. So I'm just gonna take my finger and go in and just lightly start kind of pressing it in. It's such a beautiful skin gloss, it really is. Look at that, it just kind of highlights the high point, but kind of blends right in, like you can't really see where I put it. See how beautiful that is? Oh, such a pretty skin gloss. I love this, and this is the perfect shade. Like, this is everything for my skin tone. These are so pretty, and thank you again, Ashley, for sending this over. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Now let's move on to the eyes, which I'm really, really excited to move. I don't know why I'm so excited. I swear to God, it's the Excedrin. 
I swear, it makes me like giddy and happy like a little schoolgirl. High end or drugstore for eyeshadow? Let's see. What is it? I'm I'm scared. I don't know why I'm so scared. That's so dumb. Okay, it's high end. Okay, and for my high end palette, this is like my holy grail. You guys know I love the classic palette from KKW Beauty. This is actually my second palette. My first palette, I used it so much that I was getting pan on a few shades. So my grandma, my, so my grandma, what the hell am I talking about? My daughter snatched it and I bought me another one. It was a good excuse to grab me another one. <laughs> Anywho, I am going to grab this shade right here. Is Florence? Ah, macaroni. I just dipped my finger right into the shimmer shade. You're not only driving your audience crazy, you're driving yourself nuts. I got hairs all over my face, and I don't know what the hell happened to my spoolie. Five minutes later. So it's this shade right here. And I'm gonna sweep that in my crease. On my skin tone, it's not showing up, but it will once I put something over top of it. Why do I have so many hairs on my face? I'm sounding like a whiny bitch. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the shade right next to it, which is called Selfish. And I'm gonna use the same brush. We're gonna concentrate this on this outer corner and kind of sweeping it on the lower, on the lid and the outer corner. I like both of these shimmer shades, but my favorite thing to do is mix them together. So I like to take my finger into the dark and then over here into this one, North and Chicago. So I've got some here on my finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right at the base of my lashes with my finger and then using whatever's left and then blend the rest of it up into the crease. switch brushes this is the refer number one and I'm gonna go into this pretty shade out here this one is called family and I'm gonna concentrate this right here on the outer corner I want this to just be kind of a softer look and I'm gonna dip my brush into both of the shimmer shades that I was using. So this and this, and then I'm going to bring it up into the matte shades, like right here in that like inner corner opening of the eye. I don't know what the hell I'm talking, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Hopefully you guys can figure out what I'm talking about because I surely don't know. I'm gonna go into this dark shade right here on the end, which is Gemini. I'm actually a Gemini, P.S. For those of you Zodiac people out there, I am a Gemini through and through. So I'm gonna take this shade and just kind of create that depth in that V shape. So just adding a little bit of the contour into the eyelid. And I'm just gonna keep building until I get the depth that I'm uh, wanting out here on this outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take two eyeliner pencils. I'm gonna use black on my upper waterline. Then I'm gonna take the brown eyeliner and I'm gonna go right at the base of my lashes on the upper line. Kind of keeping it just on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take a smudge brush and just kind of smudge it out. Just to kind of make it a little bit more smoky. Let's start working on the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, which is Saint. Just to give it some soft little highlight.
And sometimes if you really want to open your eye, like I did on this side, you can go right on the fold, like the crease of where your crease and your eyelid come, uh, come together. And I just bring that light shade up just a little bit. And it will really kind of open up the inside of your, like the inner corners of your eye. I am gonna go into this shade right here, which is North. Just bring that down on my lower lash line. Okay, we're gonna move on to mascara. My only problem is, I'm still growing out my lashes, so unfortunately, I can't just wear my lashes as my lashes. I could, but they look ridiculous. They look like little, you know. Now we're gonna pick to see what I get for a mascara. I don't know that I have a drugstore mascara. I might have to dig one out. I think I do, but I just haven't used it for a long time. But I got high-end, so I don't have to. Hallelujah. Okay. When I ordered this Tom Ford foundation from Nordstrom's, uh, the shade in Illuminate, uh, they sent this over with it. Uh, this is the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. So I'm going to use this Tom Ford mascara just to run like a little bit of mascara on my natural lashes, just so that when I put the, the lashes on, you want them to kind of blend together. So normally what I do is I put like a thin, even coat of mascara on my natural lashes. Then I put the false lashes on and then I put one more coat on just to kind of run it through and let them all become one, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but you know. So now this side has started to grow. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. So in my April favorites, I have found a eyelash growth serum from Amazon that's like 20 bucks that has worked on this side of my lashes. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that recently, the last three months, my lashes on this side keep falling out. They won't grow back in. I had like gaps, literally gaps on this side. That $20 lash growth serum from Amazon is kicking ass. Okay, let's decide what lashes we're going to do. Either high-end or drugstore. Drugstore! I was going to say, please be drugstore. So, I have been using these Ardell lashes. Now, there's several lashes that I love from Ardell. I've been really, really enjoying these for that thicker, more voluminous look. These are the 817, the Faux Minx. Um, I love the 110s. I love the Demi Wispies from Ardell, but if you want something a little thicker, these are beautiful. So I actually have a pair that I've already cut up. I just gotta find them, because I don't know where they went. The way that these work, let me take it out of the plastic. The way that these work, they're really long, right? And they're short on the ends, and then long in the middle. So what I like to do is I take off about this much. And then I have just this, and it, they're so pretty. They are so, 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 so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't love this mascara. I think it's too clumpy. Like, I feel like it's just, I think it's too clumpy. I think this is a pass. I've used it a few times and I don't really love it. I don't, mm -mm. I think it's a pass. It's just too clumpy and like too wet. Okay, so let's move on to lips. I am going to pick a lip liner, either drugstore or high end. So let's give it a good shake. Okay, my nose itches and I don't wanna to touch my face. Drugstore. Oops, I ripped it. Drugstore for the lip liner. See that? There we go. For a drugstore lip liner. 2,000 years later. This is one of my favorites. It's kind of hard to find. I think you can only get it at CVS or Rite Aid. Um, but this is the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish. It's I have it in the shade 049 Natural. Love this because it's just like my original lip color. Like it looks just like my lips. So I use it to kind of contour with. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we have the lip liner on, let's move on to lipstick. Let's see if I get drugstore or high-end for the lipstick. High-end. I think a Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to put on this shade from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Angel Alessandra. I love this. Mm, mm, mm. This is the Hot Lips formula. It's just beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, right? Yes, it's so pretty. Is that not so pretty? I know, I know. I hear you through the camera. Okay, so that's it for the video. I hope that you guys had so much fun with me. Uh, this was a really super fun video to film and I just thank Christina Brooke again for coming up with this idea and inviting me to collaborate with her. This was so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.